Yeah, you're right. It says rotate your phone. Huh, you're going to hold it like that. <laughs> well, hi, everybody. Yeah, we had trouble getting on today, and I'm, Debbie's having to hold the phone sideways today. So uh, I don't know what's going on with uh, my phone and Facebook Live. But anyway, welcome to the Healthy Happy Hour. Today we're fixing chicken cordon bleu, and we're doing it a little different way than what you're familiar with, but we're doing it the healthy way. We're also going to fix uh, some country-style green beans and show you how we do that. Uh, in a healthy way, and we're going to be making some uh, fries. Yeah, rutabaga. You know, lately rutabaga has been my favorite vegetable. Yeah, Debbie, uh, she, she gives it uh, two thumbs favorite. up. <laughs> uh, rutabaga fries are coming up, so we'll tell you how to do that. So while we're uh, getting started here, we got a couple of things we want to do. First of all, we want to get our green beans going, and here is uh, two cups of chicken broth. Now, for this chicken broth today, I just use the... Uh, the granular stuff, you know, that you put in water. So I just put that in there. So this is very simple. I love my pressure cookers. Man, there's times when I have two pressure cookers, maybe even three going at one time. So I'm taking frozen, just plain old picked sweet Italian. They make the best ones. Italian green beans. They're sort of like pole beans that we used to have when we were growing quality up. Quality foods. Now, these are from Quality Foods, our sponsor in downtown Tacoa, on, well, in uh, on the Town Plaza Shopping Center in Tacoa. So we're going to put that on there. Put the lid on it, put the pressure doohickey on there, and a matter of fact, I'm going to move it up here to the high heat. I want this to go as quickly as possible because those went in frozen. Now, those only have to be under pressure about three minutes to get cooked, and then we'll let them cool down. So we don't have to worry too long about that. It'll take a while, though, to build up the pressure. Uh, now, for our um, for our fries. Now, here's a rutabaga. This is a massive rutabaga. I cut half of it off. They have a very waxy covering, and what I found is, you know, some things like squash or zucchini, if you get them really big, they have big seeds in them, and they're tough inside. Even even some turnips, when you get really big ones, are, what is it, pithy or pethy, whatever the word is, mm -hmm. inside them. Um, and they may have some cracks and grooves. Rutabagas aren't like that. The bigger you can get them, the better they are. So I've already, I've already peeled this one. No need in you watching me peel something. And I'm going to cut these into planks. Debbie suggested we have uh, French fry planks. Mm -hmm. So uh, so we're going to cut these in planks. And I'm just going to come down. I'm going to cut them thin, but I want them big like planks. Let me tell you who you got watching. This who have I got watching, sweetie? Jeff Bowen, Richard Jeff Whitworth. Bowen, Jeff Bowen. Been, uh, been hauling some gas, I bet, today. Ricky, what's happening, man? Gloria Chi. Hey, Gloria. Glad to have you along with us this afternoon. Jim Pocock. Jim, man. Jim is a new friend. I've been friends with his wife for a long time, but we've just become friends on Facebook here the last little while, so glad to have Jim on here watching. John Cool. John. John's always watching. Good thing to have John on here. Tammy Bra Baker. Hey, Tammy. Uh, good to have you in. So many of you commented on the, the deal we did today. That was a, that was just kind of, that was, that was way cool to get to go to the Capitol and, uh, and uh, see everybody there, and, and man, we just had our run of the place, it seemed like, for a I long know, time, didn't we? Did. Angela was... Watkins is Hey, on. Angela, hope Amanda you're doing Johnson. well. Amanda, good to have you in here, too. Mark in Milford, too. Bridget Johnson. Mark, gosh, I, I tell you what, so many people that haven't tuned in before that I've seen your names. Thank you for being on here with us. And Richard Whitworth. Ricky, we've already talked about Ricky. Oh, okay. You got him earlier. Well, I... All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. This is just extra virgin olive oil. And I'm putting it in here, and I'm just going to kind of slosh these around. Yeah, these are going to be. Now, I notice I cut them thin because I want them to cook through fairly quickly. And I'm going to I'm going to fry, quote unquote, fry these on pretty high heat, 450 degrees. Uh, and uh, Is so the seasoning going afterwards. Well, that depends, sweetheart. Yes and no. Part of it's going on now. Okay. And the chives. Here's some chives. They'll go on at the end. I don't want them to burn, so they'll go on at the end. And here's some Parmesan cheese. It'll go on at the end as well. Okay. However, right now, we want to take some salt. salt. And I'm using kosher salt here because I need the big, thick grains mm -hmm. of salt. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can't very well do the low-sodium salt on this. So please forgive me. This is uh, not low-sodium. And then I'm going to take some pepper. Todd Kinman is watching. Hey, Todd. Hope you are doing well. Now, Todd is a, a, a client or former client, I guess you say. Uh, man, Todd, we'd love to get you back on this thing. Debbie and I got a little bit of a of a scholarship money. We'd help you get back on program. I tell you what, this program is so good, I just can't get over how how great it's been for us. 
It has just been phenomenal. Signed up somebody new today. It's always good to sign up new people and get them involved. So we're putting this in a 450 degree oven. And we're going to let that go. I want it to go maybe 25 minutes or so. We'll see if we get 25 minutes in. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but we'll find out. Uh, okay, I'm going to, I guess I'll put this over here on, on this one. So we're going to start this on some medium-high heat. And uh, I'm going to take these chicken breasts. Hey, can you believe this is the breast of one chicken? Look at that. They're connected together. Isn't that a yeah. massive thing? Yeah. So we're going to take this chicken breast. Now, you have one of two choices here. We're going to have four pieces of this. So you can either do, it's going to have chicken gooey on it. That's okay. You can either pound these out to get them even. Or here's what I like to do sometimes. I'll just go in with my chef's knife. And I will do my best to cut these in half. And that makes them thin enough that I can then put them in the pan and cook them like that. So rather than pounding the tissue, mm -hmm. you know, you mess with the tissue when you pound them sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's important with beef because you're going to tenderize it. I'm not really trying to tenderize the chicken. Okay. So I'm just going to take that and I want to trim off any of this excess skin and fat. I don't want that. Roberto Ramirez. Hey, watching. Roberto, man. Roberto is my buddy from Texas. Hope you're doing well, Roberto. Good to have you on here this afternoon. Or uh, let's say, yeah, it's an hour behind in Texas, right? It's still <laughs> afternoon. It's still afternoon, but you're an hour behind us. Ashlyn Hardigree. Ashlyn, hey, it's good to have you on here this afternoon. So many nice people and new people that I'm not familiar with on here. So I'm going to throw this in the trash, and I'm going to, I don't know why I'm cleaning my hands up, because I'm just going to get them dirty again. But I like relatively clean hands when I'm working with chicken. So now let's, uh, let's, let's go over to this side, sweetheart. This is three tablespoons of almond flour. This is one of the things that's going to make this healthy. We're going to take the almond flour, and we're going to take the, we'll go back over here. <laughs> I should have had this on that side, but I, my cutting board's here, so. Anyway, this is the low-sodium salt. Now, I do like the low-sodium salt when possible. So I'm going to just season these up a little bit with low-sodium salt. As Emerald says, you got to turn them over and do both sides. One side doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't go all the way through. So I learned that from Emerald Lagasse by watching him on the Food Network and whatever else he's been on. And then, of course, a little bit of pepper. Now, the pepper... I don't necessarily have to do it on both sides, but if I've got enough pepper to do it, what the heck? Who was it? Oh, Vinny. Vinny Livingston, one of my buddies. Uh, Vinny was telling me yesterday he was watching Gordon Ramsay. And, you know, Gordon Ramsay, he's a wild man. Uh, he, uh, he is passionate about what he does in the kitchen, yeah. that's for sure. So we like to watch Gordon on occasion as well. Uh, Gordon is a, he is just a, a different kind of sort. Paul Edwards is watching. Hey, Paul. Man, Paul and I worked together many, many, many years ago back in radio. Hey, Paul, I got some of that, uh, I got some rewards today of, of all those years in radio. That was that was kind of a neat thing. So, uh, man, I couldn't believe it. PA announcing and racetrack announcing kind of, they kind of, kind of honored that today. I was tickled for my guys that are, that are fellow PA announcers and racetrack announcers to be able to kind of represent them today at the Capitol building. They're doing a lot of work in the Capitol building. Yeah, they are. Um, they had, yeah, they had, a, they, they put some paint on that, um, uh, apparently peeled several years ago. And so they had to go in and completely repaint. And they had scaffolding all in the big rotunda area. We were fortunate we got to go into the, uh, to the house, uh, chamber mm -hmm. section and also on the steps out there where the big Oglethorpe bust is. We got a chance to go out there and have some pictures made there. With uh, our representative, um, Alan Powell, and the Speaker of the House, we uh, also were fortunate to run into him, and he uh, acknowledged us, and kind of a cool we place. We missed the governor by just a few minutes. Yeah, the governor, we went to the governor's office, and we just missed him by just a little bit. So, man, I wanted to, to get in on the seeing the governor today and shake his hand, but that didn't work out. You know what I forgot to do? I got to, for, to talking and forgot to coat these with my, with my flowers, sweetheart. Yeah, so I'm just going to flip it over and do this right now. So all is well, and I can still get that coating on there, and it will stick perfectly. So Yeah, because that, that's good. On you know, things don't always work out in the kitchen as you intended them to work out. I got busy talking and forgot what I was doing. 
So we're going to put a little extra on here because that had started to uh, seal off. We want that to, to want to mash that in a little bit so that that sticks in there well. A little bit on this end down here. Okay, now we're good. All is well. That's the beauty of cooking. You know, cooking is a, what do they say? Cooking is a, an art and baking is a science. So whenever you're cooking, man, you can just do all kinds of things and play with things as many ways as you want to because cooking is an art. Now, on the other hand, when you're baking, you better go exactly by the recipe because baking is a science. Mm -hmm. And Jason it's got to be just right. Watching. Who? Jason Wingo. Hey, Jason. Man, Jason, you have got such a, a sphere of influence. I still think you would be excellent on our program. Uh, Jason is a, he's a beer salesman. He's in bars oh, all the time and in restaurants all yeah. the time and has so many, many people. And Jason has done a great job losing weight, even though he is in that environment all the time. That's, that's pretty that's special. Great. You know, you watch the Wingos whenever we were at Lanier, all yeah. the Wingos that yeah. raced. Well, uh, Jason is a, is an offspring of the Wingos. I see. When is, is the pressure cooker going to start? Well, whenever it gets up to temperature, it takes a while. Remember those beans are frozen. Oh, okay. So it takes them a while, but they only have to, to cook under pressure about three minutes. Then we'll turn them off and let them start to decompress. So everything is good with that. All right, we're going to let this cook. This is still over medium-high heat. We're going to let this cook another couple of minutes. Then we're going to turn it over and finish cooking on that other side where I left off the, uh, uh, the, the goodies there. Now, while that's going on, I want to take this bowl. And let me get some spoons over here, sweetheart. I'm going to mix together some things to create our sauce for this. Here's two thirds of a cup of chicken broth. Again, I just used the, uh, the, the powdered chicken broth and made that work with it. You mean bouillon? Yeah, the bouillon cube. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, low fat cream cheese. Now this is very important because this is what you put in instead of the heavy cream. Normally cordon bleu would have heavy cream. And uh, so that's what you're putting in besides that. That is low-fat cream cheese. Here's a Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Here's a bit of lemon juice. All that's going in. And we're just going to mix this up. And it doesn't matter if it all mixes well or not because it's going to get warm when it goes in the pan. It's going to do its thing. But anyway, we'll just get that ready to go in the pan here in a little while. So Jimmy that's Robinson's going to be our side. Hey, Jimmy, just talked to Jimmy a few minutes ago. Good to have you on, Jimmy. So here we is got. Is this going to thicken? Uh, 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 somewhat, because you've got these pan scrapings over here, and that's going to cause it to thicken. Now these have got just a little bit of color on them, and that's what I wanted, just a little color. Let those continue to do their thing. Uh, you know, I've always got xanthan gum. Sometimes yeah. I have to change these recipes as I go and use a little bit of xanthan gum. If you haven't seen xanthan gum, here it is. It is an all-natural thickener. And I know it sounds like it's some kind of a, a you know, made up, uh, chemically induced product, but it's not. Xanthan gum is, uh, it says, great for baking, it's good for sauces, and it's good for thickener. You use that instead of cornstarch or instead of flour many times. So I may have to put just a little xanthan gum in there, but we'll Rhonda see. Rhonda Stevens is watching, and so hey, is Martha. Dwayne Goins. Dwayne, man, uh, Dwayne, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tickled to know that your surgery went well and that you're starting to... Uh, to get out and about a little bit, and you got that thing in somewhat manageable shape now. That's good. I hope, you, you know, we're having the Anderson Motor Speedway 60th anniversary reunion. Dwayne, I know you spent some time at Anderson as well. That's going on this Friday night. Of course, I've got the Stevens County Indian Tailgate Show. So I told David Smith there's no way I could be there on Friday night at Anderson Motor Speedway, but my heart is there with all the folks at Anderson Motor Speedway. Spent a lot of years with the Porters over there having a great time. Dwayne, glad to have you on here tonight. So we're letting this uh, just brown up a little bit more. And uh, meanwhile, I want to check down here and see how these things are doing. Ooh, those are doing very, very nicely. So now we play just a bit of a waiting game. I want the chicken to cook just a bit more. And I've got my pressure cooker. It's uh, pretty soon you'll see these things start to pop. First thing you'll see is, uh, let's see, I, I think the handle pops first. That, that's what happens when the ring expands. It pops that little thing up on the handle, so you can't open it by mistake mm -hmm. while it's hot. Mm -hmm. Then this pressure valve will start. Then the little jiggler will start. Once it starts jiggling, that's when we'll turn it down. 
A lot of people are scared of pressure cookers, but man, I love my pressure cooker. Been using them for a lot of years. Well, it's good that you're using it tonight to show to show folks what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, it's not a scary thing. You know, I've, I've had people, and we've all heard horror stories of people that their pressure cooker exploded on them. Well, nowadays they have so many safeguards, that's right. just not going to happen. Right. The worst that can happen, I, I say that, <laughs> I don't know this the worst, but anyway, what can happen is that little valve right there pop out, mm -hmm. and then you've got a stream of stuff, and what you do then, you just take a towel and throw over it and stop it to keep mm -hmm. it from ruining everything above it. Believe me, I've had peas all over this thing at one point or another. Um, Debbie had to repaint not long yeah, ago because long of the peas ago, up I mean. there, because I had that little thing blow out on me. All right, so now I'm going to take the chicken out. Now, you know, the chicken's pretty well up the temperature, so it's going to continue to cook a little bit while it's on this platter. I'll return it in just a few minutes. But right now, I've got all this great fond. Remember, fond is good. We love fond. That is the scrapings. Uh, that's going to help thicken this whenever we put our mixture mm -hmm. in there. It just makes it yummy. Yeah, it makes it yummy, yummy. So we're going to put this mixture in there now and let that come up to a boil. And again, all of that cream cheese is going to get in there and it's going to do well. It's going to melt too. That's the good thing about it. And I've got a, uh, pardon me, sweetheart. I've got a quarter of a tablespoon of butter just to give it a little shine, just to give it a little, a uh, little extra oomph. So just a little bit of butter. And yes, we use real butter. Uh, you can't beat real butter. It's a, a, you don't want margarine. No, you don't want margarine. Margarine is a kind of a man-made thing. Well, it is man-made. Don't, don't want to use that if at all possible. So we're going to put this in here and let this Peggy Red. Hey, Peggy. Now, I bet Peggy, she'll, she'll be at Livonia this week. I started to say Peggy's got withdrawal from not being at a racetrack over the last few weeks. But she'll be at Livonia Friday and Saturday night, I'm sure. By the way, tomorrow night on the Champ Show, we're going to be live at El Patron Mexican Restaurant. Hope you can be there for that one or at least tune in on Facebook Live for that. We're going to have some folks I've never talked to before. I've gotten involved with the Georgia Carding Complex. So we're having Stumpy and... Uh, Several guests from the Georgia Carding Complex on with us tomorrow night. That's going to be an uh, interesting thing and a fun thing. And, of course, we're going to have Nathan Bray on as well. And we're going to have, uh, I'm trying to think who else I've got coming on. I've got several different drivers coming on in addition to that. So we're looking forward to that tomorrow night. Also, let me mention to you that uh, on uh, our Your Life, <clears throat> pardon me, Your Life Matters program, Coming up on Sunday, Debbie and I are going to be hosting that together, and we're going to be talking about relationships, we're going to talk about marriage, uh, we're going to talk about things that have worked in our marriage, and uh, things that didn't work in our first marriage, mm -hmm. we both uh, have, have had those things going on, so things that didn't work in our first marriages. So I'm going to let that continue to go. Meanwhile, let me let's check, check the on. fries. Yeah, I want to get a shot of them. Let well, them. let's see if we can get a shot of them. Yeah, see how they're... They're browning up really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to let them continue on. We'll In just a minute or so, we'll flip those and get them going. I'm waiting on this to come up to speed. It would be really nice if we had some uh, pressure going on. At least this has popped up already, so that means we're not far out from the other part yeah, popping up. Yeah, I hear it's up. sizzling now. And I'm going to run the temperature down on here. With This chicken needs to cook about 10 more minutes. That's going to be perfect for the Does way everything else covered? is going. Uh, not necessarily. It is going to cook well like that. And plus, I want that sauce to reduce down. When you cover it, that stops the reduction of the sauce sometimes. Where do you put the cheese and the ham now? The cheese and the ham will go on top of this when it's done and melt over it. And then a little bit of uh, parsley, we'll put that on there for, for Are you color. you put mozzarella cheese on top? Uh, I, I've got mozzarella slices to go on it. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, my buddy, um, Jay Langtot is um I, I have told you about him before he is uh with the airlines he does um, all of the culinary uh displays for the airlines and he makes such beautiful things and i'm trying to learn presentation from jay jay if you're watching man i, I just enjoy everything that you put on it always looks so good compared to what i do and i can't wait to see more of what uh you do presentation wise i'm learning from you man he's off running a Golly, he's running more than a um, some kind of big race this weekend. I think it's like 18 or 20 miles, and it's got all kind of things going on. I believe he's in Boston doing that, My if goodness. I'm not mistaken. Some of these guys like he and, and Dale Morrill, 
They just amaze me. And Roberto, man, I think you're doing some of that kind of stuff too. Um, listen, I'm almost 70 years old. That is, that is not my thing. Yeah, I know there are folks out there that are 70 and 80 probably doing these things, but that ain't my, that ain't my jam, if you know what I mean. Debbie Roberts is watching. Hey, Debbie, I hope you're doing well. Uh, Debbie, we got to get together sometime. We have got a, a dinner that we've got to have together. Debbie and I have got some time available next week, and we would love to have you and Ronald and uh, sit down and talk with you. Okay, now we're starting to starting to jiggle. Yeah. So about three, four minutes, something like that. We're going to let that go. You don't turn the heat down when it jiggles. I do, but I have to wait for it to really jiggle or it quits jiggling. Oh, okay. So I'm going to let it go here for just a little while longer, and I'll start to slowly turn that heat down. I just want to keep a, a gentle jiggle, and you right. know mostly it's a, it's a rotate more than jiggle. Yeah, it is. So... While this is going on, got a couple of things I want to do right here. I want to take some parsley. This is my, my parsley. This is just for garnish only. So I'm going to chop up this parsley really nice. And that'll go on the top as a little bit of a garnish. So we'll have that for later. Okay, so I can turn this on down now and get that lower. Many times, this is my, my high heat burner. Many times, I'll if I need to run this on high heat, I'll move that over here. But I think tonight we're good just to leave it like it is. It's right that's, in the camera shot, so we're going to go. That's thickening up very well. Yeah, that's looking really nice. It's getting some color to it. I'm excited about this. It's going to be a good meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to turn that over and let the other side cook a bit down in that, that goodie. All right, so that's going to cook for four or five more minutes. Meanwhile, our green beans are going to need maybe three or four more minutes. Now, again, it's going to take them about ten minutes to get to where you can open this thing. I used to put a fork under mine to, to uh, That's what this is. Up. Yeah, I've got this. This is curved just perfectly to go under there. I'll show you how I do that in a little while as soon as I turn it down. And, of course, you can always do the fast mode where you put it under cold water yeah, and, and, yeah. It, and it quickly does it. I just don't like doing that. I don't like the aluminum or the, well, that's not aluminum, but the stainless steel going through that much of a temperature change that mm -hmm. quick. But mm -hmm. that's just me. They, everybody says to do it that way. I just like to do it naturally. Sort of like the difference, well, I don't know. I, I was going to say like the difference between a normally aspirated carburetor and a electronic fuel injection, but I don't know. That's, I'm getting into a different world there when I'm talking about that. Alan Button is watching. Alan, hey man, I hope you're well today. Good to talk with. Boy, that's sticking it up so nice. Alan, good to have you on here. So let me check the fries again. I don't want them to get overdone. So they are, oh, they are doing really, really, really well. Yeah, another little while in there. Those fries are so good. I made they some really for Debbie are. to try out last week. We've never done. They have a sweet potato fry. They do. They, they between a sweet potato and a regular. Okay. Hey, hope you hung with us there. We had a little bit of connectivity problem. Not sure exactly what was going on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the beans off now and let them start to do their thing. Um, we've got about five more minutes on the chicken. Uh, I was telling you that Sunday night we're going to be talking about uh, marriage and we're going to talk about. The, the perils that come up, everybody that's married knows that there are perils that always pop up. And Debbie, we're going to talk about how we handle those. One of the big things is we were taught early on by a counselor of ours how to fight. <laughs> Honestly, you need to know how to disagree with each other. And you need to know what, uh, what each other expects when you do that. Uh, we were listening today to a program and they were talking about you have to treat each other how you want to be treated. Uh, I mean, you have to teach, teach people how, how you want to be treated. And I think both of us, we both got married first time at a very young age. We didn't even know what we wanted, much less how to treat somebody else. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you were giving me that face. I didn't know if you... Well, you, you got married later than I did. You were older than I was. Well, I was 21. Were you? Yeah. You got married? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was 21. Um, and, uh, of course, she was 17. But yeah. people got married earlier back in those days mm -hmm. than they do now. Mm -hmm. Now it's not unheard of. Most people go to their 30s without right, getting married. Right, right. So that's unusual. That's right. But anyway, we're going to talk about some of those perils, some of the things that you get into and some of the things that we got into and uh, in our first marriages and how we kind of rectified that in our second marriages. So 
we uh, our second marriage. So we're looking forward. We've been married 30 years. Matter of fact, we're getting ready to go on a 30 year anniversary trip Next coming up week. just in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. We're going to be heading to Maggie Valley, North Carolina, William, uh, Waynesville, Maggie Valley, Asheville area. We love that area of the mountains. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully the leaves will be changed a little bit by that time. I don't know. Uh, it gets later and later every year. But it turned off a little cooler. Uh, today and uh, this week, especially downtown it has Atlanta, been. it was cold. Yeah, downtown Atlanta, we were amazed today how cool it was, and uh, just it was just a pleasant day to be downtown mm -hmm. Atlanta today. I mm -hmm. was uh, very impressed with everything that was going on there. All right, so now I can start this process, and I just I just put this, I just kind of cradle, just kind of cradle that and let it come out like that. Um, it'll take it a while. Meanwhile, I want to check on these fries again. I sure don't want them to burn. And uh, they can go just a few more minutes. I got one right there that needs some browning action on it. Those fries do take about 20 or 25 minutes to get where they need to be. Well, by the time you get the rest of this finished, though, it, it comes in for right, the time. Right, right. Now, I'm going to take, um, I want to put my mozzarella on first because I want it to be on the hot chicken. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn this chicken over and get the hottest side up. And that chicken should be done now. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to put the mozzarella on there. This is low moisture, low fat mozzarella slices. Like to use those. So they're going on there. And then I'll take the ham. Four slices of, uh, this is, is as low, uh, as healthy a ham as I could get. Low fat ham. Could find it's one of the one of the brand names. Uh, I don't remember which one the armor or one of the one of the brand names anyway of ham. And again, something we bought at Quality Foods. Uh, Quality Foods is your friend. Uh, Quality Foods got everything you need. And of course, want to mention our small group. I tell you what, Debbie had two surgeries this week. She had a um, wires put in her back. Yeah, actual wires with a stimulator put in there. Weird how they do that. And it's uh, scrambling her brain activity so that the pain goes away. Like so, I wasn't scrambled enough. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to see how that does. Uh, and we had that done yesterday, uh, day before Money. yesterday. And then yesterday, she went to the doctor in Gainesville and had gel put behind her kneecap, between her kneecap and the bones of her or her legs. Yeah, I'd gotten to where I couldn't even kneel. Yeah, I got to where she couldn't kneel on it. So now that's taking effect. So um, anyway, our our... Life group, our small group, our Sunday school class, uh, everybody's been reaching out to us and praying for us. If you're not part of a small group, that is so important to have like-minded people. Not only do you study the word, but you also have each other's back and you're part of a great community. So yeah. let me encourage you to do that. It's we have a great one at Ebenezer. Do what? It's a very loving group. Yeah, loving group. And we're at Ebenezer Baptist in Tacoa. We'd love to have you. We're a fairly large church in Tacoa. I always thought I wouldn't like a large church, but I'll tell you what, the, 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 resources that a church like that has is so far superior to what a small church has and we just absolutely love it so we would invite you to come and join us there all right now i'm going to take mm, that's melting nicely yeah i'm going to take some of this and i'm just going to scoop it over the top i'm going to put more over the top later but i want to Here, i want to see if oh i'm sorry goes. i'm sorry so um, let me just just i'm just trying to get a, little a regular bit of spoon i think yeah, well, I don't like to use a regular spoon in, in Teflon coated things or ceramic coating. Mm -hmm. I just want to get that on there just to help that cheese melt underneath there a little bit. Okay, we got this going on. I think these fries are ready to come out now. Yeah. So let's check this out and see. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, they're looking good. Those look so good. So we're going to let those sit. And I will let them sit for just a minute and try to quit sizzling. And then we'll put some of the other things on there. Oh, there's my timer. It's exactly right. How about that? So we're going to continue that to come down. We are just about done. I can tell by the way that that's going. That's just you about get ready your to plates? come. Oh, you know what? That would be a good idea, wouldn't it, sweetheart? Do you need a spatula to get the chicken breast out? I have one right here. Cool. I'm going to cut that off, and I'm going to, I still got 28 seconds on that. Okay, so this is ready to come down right. now. So let's check out the beans. There are the beans. They were cooked in chicken broth, remember, and a little bit of salt and pepper. 
Mm-hmm. So they are ready to go. My and that, favorite That vegetable. looks good. Yeah, Debbie loves that. Now you can always put a little onion. Matter of fact, I've got some onion over there I'm probably going to put on mine. I don't know if you want onion on yours or not. Uh, meanwhile, back at the ranch, as they say. Roger Murray's watching. Hey, Roger, first time you've tuned in today. Haven't seen you on here before today. Uh, here's some chives. <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to put a little bit of chives on here just to, just for a little bit of flavor. Is that's the all. mozzarella going to go on? Not the mozzarella, the Parmesan. Parmesan, that's right. Sorry. Oh, those green beans look wonderful. Yeah, look the green beans are going to be. Are. Yeah. All right, now here goes the Parmesan cheese. So we're going to put that on there, liberally do that. That's what makes them so good. Yeah. You can eat healthy and enjoy yourself. You can. All of this is healthy, and all of this honestly will help you to lose weight if you do it right with the proper nutrition otherwise. You can't eat three meals a day like this, but for one meal a day, this is perfect to do. Okay, let's plate up a little bit here. Where's so your going parsley going to go? Parsley is going to go right there on top as I, as I plate each one. And this is cordon bleu because it's got all of the great ingredients of cordon bleu. Now we want to put a little, and I know Jay is probably watching this saying, you could decorate these so much better. And I probably could. I got to learn how to do that, Jay. Man. All right, here we go. Put some goodie on it. Yeah, put some goodie on there. Take my slotted spoon and get, we can have a quarter cup. I'm assuming that my spoon is about a quarter cup. Now that has been the case in the past. So we're going to put a quarter cup of green beans on both of these. And to me, the star of the show is the fries. Yeah. Pardon me, sweetheart. So these are so, so good. These little planks. Make sure you give me enough planks to satisfy me. <laughs> <laughs> then I better cook some more, right? Mm, maybe. All right, so there's a there's five for Debbie. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's, there's six for Debbie. <laughs> Paul Edwards is watching. Hey, Paul. There's Paul again. And then five for Charles. Is that equitable? That's huh? equitable. Equitable. Okay. Yes, there we go. Yes. All right. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is our offering for today. Chicken cordon bleu with green bean, country style green beans and rutabaga planks. Hope you enjoy it. By the way, in the comment section, I meant to mention this earlier. In the comment section, if you'll just put me, put me in the comments, and I will send you my five things that you can do to start eating healthier just with the foods you prepare at home. Just five quick little changes you can make to become more healthy in what you fix. Also, anybody that likes it, I will.